our affirmation today. I use God every day in every way. And this is something I came upon. I was reading actually the book about the history of building unity. And there was a section that talked about using God every day in every way, and that we can never use God too much. Before I begin my message, I want to share with you the daily word for today from unity, and that is, very appropriately, protection. I put on the armor of divine love and wisdom. So as you're going through the day, think about all the protection that you have from God. The narrative uh, talks about in medieval times how people would put on protective armor uh, that would shield them from, in battle from harm. But today, to protect ourselves from harm or fear or pain and anger, we can suit up in God's armor of love uh, and feel the security in that. So that is protection. A lot of times when we hear this term, oh, he's using you, or, you know, we think of it in an unkind way, that it's something bad, somebody's using you too much. Um, and I also often hear from people along this line, is, uh, especially as I, I try to reach out to people outside of our own fellowship, when they talk about challenges they're going through, to, to reach out to God. And a lot of people, and I'm sure we've all experienced this, have this feeling that, well, I've been such a bad person, or, you know, I've, I've not been very faithful to any faith, so how can I come to God now? And you have to explain to them, this isn't a mortal man. He doesn't have these issues. It's not like uh, your great uncle that you haven't talked to in 20 years, and now you need a loan, and you're going to go knock on his door. You know what? That's fine with God. God doesn't have these emotions that humans can get saddled down with about, you're just using me. God wants you to use him. He's there to be used. Use him every day in every way. The more you use him, the more he likes it. The more he knows that you know that he's there. Don't ever be afraid to use God. And how do you use God? Part of our daily word and protection was mentioning that one of the ways that we do suit up and we armor ourselves and, and we use God is through prayer and meditation. These are always available to us. And I also, as I spoke about last week, we know sometimes uh, we're busy or we're in a different frame of mind. We're not quite ready to sit down and be meditative. Last week I talked about dance your own dance. You know what, if that's going to get you in this place of a heightened awareness and a, a heightened uh, openness and receptiveness to spirit power, you know what, put on a wonderful song that has very positive, uplifting lyrics and music and dance around and let your mind become centered with the power of God. We don't necessarily have to get on our knees in a dark closet and, uh, you know, put a thorn on our head and be in, in pain and uh, in a place of suffering to connect with God. We know that that's part of our faith tradition. But feel free to go out and dance or sing or do meditate or pray or whatever you feel gets you to that place of openness and receptiveness to God. Because once you let God in, once you feel that power, that connectiveness with God, that's where this tool comes from. That's how you armor yourself. That's how you're using God, because you're letting him come in and you're letting that power help redirect your way of thinking so that you're not uh, feeling untoward, uh, you know, when you're possibly visiting with family over the holidays who you sometimes don't get along with, or you're having some financial challenges and that's causing you some distress because you'd like to do more for the holidays. In all of these situations and circumstances, remember, use God. He's there to be used. He wants you to use Him. And we know also in our fellowship that we, and in our faith tradition, that we have so many tools for prosperity. So when you are at a place and you feel that you don't have any options, or you're feeling sad, or you're feeling low, or you're worried about the balance in your checkbook, this is the time when you need to use God the most. Turn to Him. And again, through prayer, through meditation, through your favorite dance, all these things that we do that, as I spoke about a couple weeks ago, that can make every day of your life seem like your favorite holiday. There's no need for us to uh, only enjoy one day a year. We can enjoy that every day of the year and use God. Use God every day in every way. Uh, our question this week, how can I use God more? And we might think from the outset, because if uh, somebody walked up and said, how can I use my Uncle Howard more? I mean, we'd think that's a horrible thing. But again, we're not talking about a mortal man. We're talking about God, and He wants you to use Him. He wants you to connect with Him. So as you're going through your week, through your challenges, ask yourself, how can I use God more? How can I get beyond this challenge, this circumstance, this situation 
to this place of great happiness and health and prosperity that I know God wants me to be, I need to use God. I need to get to him. I need to have access to him. I need to know every day in every way that God is there with me. And we know that. We sometimes just aren't open to that portal. As uh, Pastor Mike used to sometimes say, you just have to plug the coffee maker in. We know that we have all the elements there, the water's there, the grinds are in, the coffee maker's there, but if it's not plugged in, you aren't going to get an ounce of coffee. So, you know, plug in. And if you plug in through prayer or meditation or dancing your favorite dance, whatever it is that gets you to that place where you do feel that divine connection with God, use it. Use it uh, every day in every way. And the good news is, as uh, Charles Fillmore, the co-founder of Unity, proclaimed, you cannot use God too often. He loves to be used. And the more you use him, the more easily you can use him, and the more pleasant his help becomes. So think about these words as you go through your day and and your week and your challenges. And we're about to enter the holiday season, which I know can be very challenging for people for a variety of reasons, dealing with family or not being able to deal with family. And we know sometimes the world around us, they get a little centered on uh, their own holiday joy issues and sometimes aren't as polite to people in the world around them as they should be. So when you encounter these situations, know that you can use God, use God every day in every way. So remember that as you're going through the week, you cannot use God too much. Be always, as much as you possibly can, have that open channel between your receptiveness and that divine guidance that you know is always there for you to guide you and direct you through every circumstance, through every challenge, through every situation. It's there for you. Plug in and uh, you'll get your coffee.